Jolie here for seconds out with the successful Harry Scarf, English welterweight title, second time. How are you feeling? Yes, second time, two weight as well. So uh, now I feel good. This is what we expected. Good to be back on um, back on a, a top platform. You know, this is a great platform, Sky and Boxer. And um, I'm thankful to them for the opportunity because it's what I've been crying out for. And um, I finally got it, took it, and hopefully now can be the start of being nice and active, you know. How did you feel like you handled the fight as it was happening? Yeah, um, I felt I felt good. I felt like, you know, I controlled the fight, you know, stepped up a little bit, hurt him, and then he was just looking for looking for a, a swing. So I just decided to, you know, see it out and just keep it just keep it nice boxing, you know, and just control it. Were you comfortable the fight was yours when it went to decision? Yeah, definitely. I was comfortable. I was comfortable. I felt I controlled the fight throughout. And yeah, it was a comfortable night, really. But credit to Lewis Green, he was tough, you know, and he was always, and he was always trying. But um, I've got a horrible style and um, yeah, he didn't know what to do with it, really. It's the Troy Williamson rematch. Obviously, he was successful last night. Something you'd be interested in? Yeah, I mean, I've called for that fight before and he's, he said he wanted to, he said, let's do the rematch. And then he went quiet. He never wanted the rematch, you know, so... And now I'm at, I'm at welterweight. He's at super welter, but I'd, I'd, of course I'd, I'd, I'd have that fight still because I, I felt like I beat him the first time, and a lot of other people did as well. Um, but like I say, he's he's doing super welter, doing whatever. Um, and yeah, I'm any of them welter, Troy Williamson. Yeah, I'm not bothered. Now you've obviously, like we say, been the English champion before. You stepped up and you got a couple of losses, although the Troy Williams what someone wasn't necessarily in your eyes. Um, what do you plan on doing now? I plan on just moving on, getting as big a fights as, as possible. You know, like the British title would be great. It's a belt I've always wanted to box for, always wanted to win the British title. So that'd be great. But if that can't happen, then just domestic opposition. I don't like these international opponents, you know, for fake European titles or, you know, some of these international belts. It's a load of shit. So I'd like to fight, you know, good domestic opposition. If we couldn't, I think everyone in the waterweight division as well. You've got a couple of the, you know, you've got Khan and Brook who are, you know, in the in the sort of twilight of the career. They've probably got a fight or so left, and then you've got. But below that, I think everyone domestically should just just box each other. They're the best fights. Echo Esman, current British champion. Um, how would a fight with you two go? Yeah, I know Echo. He's a good lad. You know, we've done some bits in the past. But when I moved to waterweight, this is a natural rivalry. You know. Um, Derby, Nottingham, be a big fight and it'd be a fight that I'd win. Well, I appreciate your time. Best of luck on the future.